Hi, I'm Mod West, Senior Environment Artist on Old School, and I'd like to talk about our art and engine technology. Old School's visuals are charming, timeless, nostalgic, and through multiple community-made mods, also very customizable. For some time now, we have been working on ways to update our technology to provide improvements to the overall visual quality of our game and add more options for our players. Today, we are ready to talk about it. We are thrilled to announce a major overhaul to our rendering technology with the introduction of the latest version of RuneTech. This is a brand new renderer that is going to allow us to push old school's visuals and performance to new levels of quality and provide modern quality of life improvements that our players have come to expect. So, what will this look like? To begin with, we'll be replacing the current renderer with RuneTech. Once released, players can choose from two graphics options inside the settings menu. The first of these modes is SD. This mode runs RuneTech with custom emulation features, allowing us to run the game to the original 2007 look with pixel perfect accuracy, while taking full advantage of RuneTech's modern rendering improvements. For those who want a truly traditional feel, this is the mode for you, unchanged, forever 2007. For those players who want to take the visuals further, we have our new HD mode. This contains all the original models and maps, but adds multiple new rendering features to enhance the player experience. Let's take a deeper look at our current in-client progress and show how some of these new features work. RuneText Renderer allows for fully dynamic lighting of the game world, including dynamic sunlight and control over indirect lighting intensities. We have exposed control over all these features through our new debug tools. We have also introduced volumetric lighting, which adds volumetric fog and god ray support to our main source of sunlight. Fog is also supported through a feature called light scattering. This system creates believable fog falloff that interacts with the scene geometry, sunlight, and volumetric lighting to create a consistent and grounded feel to the game world. Along with the introduction of improved anti-aliasing solutions and screen space ambient occlusion, we can create compelling lighting settings that elevate the old school experience, but remain true to the feel of the game world and the characters within it. Let's take a look at some more examples of these systems in action. This is where we are currently at, but that's not all. We are actively implementing even more amazing RuneTech features. These include RuneTech's brand new water system that will include optional real-time reflections with multiple water presets. Our plan is to have this complete and rolled out prior to sailing. We have also been researching skydome systems, allowing us to add clouds and additional atmospheric effects to the skies. This will allow us the ability to craft bespoke lighting settings for all the different biomes found across the game world. And finally, we cannot light the game world without point lights and emissive material systems. This will allow us to have glowing fires, magic, and projectiles that will give the appearance of emitting light. In this example, we have attached a dynamic point light to the mouse cursor and enabled shadow casting, all courtesy of RuneTech. Both modes will be available on all platforms, including mobile devices, and players can switch between each graphics mode at any time. We are building HD to stay authentic to the pure old school style and feel while building a strong foundation for the future. This is not all. RuneTech opens up exciting possibilities for future engine updates and plugin support, giving more control to the players with how they experience old school. We are hoping to have a playable alpha in your hands very soon, followed by an always on beta once we are comfortable with its performance. We are thrilled to share this news with you today and you will hear from us again soon.